Georgia Stryker Kilman is the founder of the Hellenic Genealogy Geek Facebook group and blog. Georgia's interest in collecting books and documentation on Greek immigrants began, began in the mid 1990s while working and living in Australia. Upon her return to the US, she continued to collect books, articles, and data on the worldwide uh, Greek diaspora. In the year 2010, Georgia formed the Hellenic Genealogy Geek Facebook group and blog to share all that she has collected with those interested in researching their own family history. The group has grown to over 33.5 thousand members. Georgia strives to encourage people to contribute by helping others and share information. In May 2021, she also launched the Hellenic Genealogy Geek Research Links website, which categorizes thousands of links to websites, databases, articles, books, etc., of interest to people doing genealogy, uh, Greek genealogy research. Floor is yours, Georgia. Okay. Um, let me just say that when I formed the Hellenic Genealogy Geek group, well, the website that I just did last year, that was out of frustration because Facebook is a great place to connect, but every day we have many people posting research links, posting websites, articles, books, and um, within a day, you can't even find what was posted yesterday. They stream down the page and get all confused. And so out of frustration, I created this and I'm gonna share my screen now. Is that showing? Yes, uh, but you have to- yeah, yeah, I know, put it in slide. Right. Okay. All right, so let's start top. It's, it's, it's on the internet under HellenicGenealogyGeek.com. And you can see that at the top there. Let me move to the next slide. And underneath the picture, you're going to see um, at the bottom there, the first arrow says 2,331 links and last updated January 22nd, 2022. That gets updated every time I add additional links. Um, so that at a glance, you're gonna be able to see if it was updated since the last time you visited. Also, you can't really see the box very well, but there's a search box there by the second arrow. And this is great if you want to, instead of going through all the categories that I'm going to show you, you want to just do a search on everything that has been written on Sparta that we've got on the research link. It'll pull up all the different links for you that way. Okay, so what you're gonna see once you scroll down the page are two columns. On the left, you're going to see, um, starting with the Greek names and books, but then as you go down, I wanted you to notice where the Greek, where the uh, blue arrow is. I also say how many links there are and when it was last updated. So let's say you were looking for or, um, information on adoptions, you know that I put something new in on January 17th. And so you can do that. Now, if you just visited yesterday, you know I haven't added anything else in. Um, so let's look at the first category, Greek names in books. These are names that have been extracted from books um, and we put them into a a Excel spreadsheet. So when you click on the link, this is where you're gonna go. And what you'll see is um, all of the names in alphabetical order by surname in the first column. Second column is the name of the book, the title of the book. And the third column is the link to either a blog posting or maybe directly to the book if it's available online. There also is a second tab, which is book titles. So you can just glance through here to see which books we have extracted names from yet. And I have thousands of additional names to add to this list, so. Um, also, if you look at the different categories, what you're gonna see is that as you click on a 
category, let's say Asia Minor, you're going to see online databases where the blue arrows, online databases, films and videos, websites, articles, books. Each of those categories is listed down below with a red highlight. And, um, and again, all of the posts underneath it will say when that was added. So it'll be easy for you to see if these are new links. So this particular um, database, and I can't see because these pictures are in the way. Can I move those up? Yeah. Um, we have six online databases, 10 films and videos, 21 websites, 48 articles, and 24 books. And I have a lot more to add to this. And um, this is a topic topic of great interest to our members. So if you um, have something that I don't really have, please send me an email. You'll see that my, um, my email address is at the top of each page. And I'd love to get suggestions. So adoptions and orphans. Um, right after me, Linda, Forrest, Linda Trotter will be speaking, and she is a member of our group and helps add material at all times. Also, um, Professor Gonda Von Steen, who has done a lot of research in this area, keeps us updated. So what you see here is this is a big area of interest because there were all these adoptions that were done out of Greece between like 1948 and the 1960s. So we always get a lot of questions on that. And so we've got 28 articles, 10 books, seven websites or Facebook groups, and four videos for you to use. Culture and traditions. Well, Alexander was just talking about this, and so was um, Nicholas Gage, where we don't necessarily carry the heritage down to next generations. And... Um, we have a lot of people in our group that weren't brought up as Greek Orthodox or in a Greek understanding the Greek culture. And so we've added some links here for them to use that will help educate them. Now, the Greek diaspora communities. Look, at this. I've got 949 links on here and I know I am missing a lot, showing 39 countries. The um, top countries are at the top with the most links. And if you click on the United States, which you're going to get are individual links for each state because there's so many of the articles. But once you scroll down, you'll also see Africa, Albania, Argentina, every country listed. And again, the number of links and when it was last updated. Directories. I love directories and um, we, there really are very few available online. We've got um, four from Greece here, which links to some of the things that Gregory has done, but we have six from the United States. And there are others that have been published, but I haven't been able to get my hands on them. Um, the, the libraries don't want to loan them out or they're not online. So I'm on the hunt for these. If anybody knows anything, let me know. We currently have The People's Guide by Scottopoulos, which was done in 1920, which has photographs and gives a little summary of each person. I was able to get that through an interlibrary loan and digitize it and put it out there and index it for you guys. The Associated Greek Business Guide and Directory of the Western States was sent to me by one of our members. And um, I was able to digitize that also and index it. The Canudas books are great. I only We only have a link to one of them here. I would like to get my hands on the rest of them. I don't know why they're not all digitized. And then we have the, um, sorry, I moved ahead too fast. The um, Greek American Guide by Helms that was done in 1915. So if anybody knows of anything, please let us know because we'd like to add it so everybody can take advantage of it. DNA. DNA is um, a subject that always comes up. 
and it's very difficult to comprehend for me. <laughs> so we've added 37 links on different aspects of DNA, articles, Facebook groups, the basics of it, DNA testing comparisons, and the companies, what's this, and the DNA ethnicity estimates, communicating with DNA cousins, and DNA triangulation. Now, Greece, we have 108 links on here. I have a lot more to include. And um, the problem is I need to break this down by region, I think, an administrative dis district to make it easier. But we've got 49 articles, 43 books, uh, six online databases and websites, and 11 videos. So um, I want to expand this quite a bit. And um, I need to find the time to do that. This is just, uh, people are always asking about place name changes and that. So what we've got are seven links here to help you not only with place name changes in Greece, but also in Turkey. We've got um, Greek genealogy for beginners. Um, and this has, a. 23 links on it, but they're all general, um, like how to help you do research, um, not only in Greece, but here. Greek language and handwriting. We need to expand this a little bit here because what we've got is, um, is there's always an interest in the Greek language and Greek handwriting. I would love to have additional, we have five links right now, but I would love to have additional links that have to do with how do you read Greek handwriting so that everybody can get some help on that. Greek names, we've got 17 links on Greek names. There's always questions about that. Where did the name come from? And also a little summary from Wikipedia about the Turkish surname law about when people had to change their surnames. Okay, Greek records. This is also something we need to reorganize a little bit because we now have 334 links on this site, which is uh, resources for Greek records, uh, record collections, Greek ancestries record collections are included in here, um, tools and educational materials. Jewish communities, um, there's a lot of interest in that also. And so we've included as many databases as we can find. Libraries. Now these aren't just libraries. Um, hopefully a lot of them are the local libraries that you can use when you go there. And we'll discuss this a little bit later when I talk about something else. Maps, we've got 39 maps. We need to add more here. So if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Museums, these are not museums that have to do with archaeology. These are mostly folklore museums or folk museums in the villages or museums about worry beads or, or tobacco or all of the different things that they had going on in Greece. It's very interesting. And a lot of them have great online museum information. Oral histories. Some of these are oral histories that are done with individuals, but some of them are more about oral history projects where you'll be able to see many interviews. Like the first one, the Greeks in Washington has a great project going. The National Hellenic Museum in Chicago is working on it. We have uh, this other one, interviews with Anatolian immigrants in Greece, which is interesting. So this is, these are cool places to hang out. Using a professional genealogist, we did this last year um, because people were having some issues with how to deal with a genealogist. They needed to understand what it is that they need to present when they wanna have research done. And um, so we, we put together a code of ethics, a request for a quotation and an example of a research report so you know what to expect. Wars and military, this is an, uh, an area that I think people have um, missed and need to look at. Many of these links show names of the people that served in the military. So it's a resource that you should definitely check out. Now, here's the last part. 
village histories and community trees. We um, have part of a page here that I've created that shows um, a lot of village history books. This is just part of it. Carol, when she went to um, Sparta several years ago, she went to the library and took photos of every single book they had on village histories. So we're gonna add those in here and give you information about where to look and what to do when in fact you go to Greece, all right? Also, there's a lot that have been published and we're trying to locate those and give you information here. It's sorted by um, the region and then by village. So you should be able to find multiple ones for your village if in fact ones have been written. And that's it, really. I just wanted to familiarize you with what's going on here and, um, and hope everybody enjoys it. Thank you very much, Georgia. Okay. What you've done is really great because there is a, a free place for people to go and access thousands of resources. Thank I you. I use it all the time myself. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> and the way that you have categorized them now is so easier for people to use. Oh, thank 